All right. Hello, hello, everybody. It is June 23rd, 2018. And today, um, before I, you know, before I even get into it, let me say for everyone who's been commenting and giving me feedback and those who are liking and sharing my content, uh, I really do appreciate it. Now, I appreciate the people who are already subscribing and giving me a chance so I can really continue to really evolve and push the channel how I'd like to have it. Uh, of course, it's not perfect right now. There's a lot of things I'm trying to improve on. And um, this is, just bear with me. I'm trying to get better every episode of the, or every um, every YouTube video I put out. I'm trying to get better as I go. And um, I said, just give me, give me some time. I'm going to try to keep perfecting everything and see where we end up at. Now today, uh, I'm going to go over a little bit of everything. I'll touch on Kilauea. I'm going to show you the Insar um, maps of it. Uh, we're going to take a quick look at Yellowstone. We'll try out the ground movement. I also wanted to talk about the Cascadia subduction zone since we're having a lot of activity going on in California. So so let's just go ahead and jump into it. We'll start now. Uh, we're, here we are at, at good old Kilauea. Uh, I'm only tracking uh, the last 20 because if I do, I'll do a day's earthquake and um, it's not too bad. But um, I suggest if your computer can handle it, do the full month. And it's kind of crazy because you'll see almost the entire amount of earthquakes are all along the Helena uh, fault. And they're also, I mean, they're spreading out over the entire island. And um, you, know, you only need so many big earthquakes to start erupting other volcanoes, such as Mauna Loa. Um, one thing I started doing, I turned on these camera icons, which you could do yourself if you just go down to instruments and hit camera, and you can get some um, decent little pictures. And the, the majority of them that I've seen have been, all been updated as well, so that's good. Um, hold on. Oh yeah, let me turn off the, um, that's why I only had it on the last 20, so I can see my camera icons. Okay, so this is from 23rd, so that's just kind of that, look at that though, I mean that's almost... As I said, it's a thousand feet deep. Man, it might be a little deeper now, but um, that's insane. It's a really good picture, though. Um, let's see what else we got. Okay, here's another one of the crater. I do have a live feed as well, and we'll take a look at that whenever I finish up showing up all the um, the other data and whatnot. There you go. And um, let's see this picture. Oh, that's kind of hard to see, but this is from the uh, the observatory, HVO. updated no this is from May 9th I said that some of them are gonna be outdated uh, I think that's that's another one that was outdated as well um, back up a little bit we'll take a look at the um, the tilt charts and see where the see if the grounds lifting what's what's going on um, so here we are so here's the right here the outside this is the greater caldera of Kil uh, Kilauea so here's the volcano house um, so let's, let's check out the tilt monitors or tilt monitors this has dropped so it's dropped by quite a bit and everything around here so it's it's almost dropped I'd say 25 micro radians um, let's go down here same so I mean this whole area everything so this is pretty far out so this is the outside of the greater caldera and this is I mean, it's pretty far out there, and this is starting to drop as well. Now, I mean, it, that that doesn't mean it's going to cave in with it, but there's definitely ground deformation right there. Let's see what's going on over here. So over down here by, let's see what this camera brings me to. Over here is lifting. So this is um, Mana Ulu, something like that. I don't know. I'm not too good with these Hawaiian names. I apologize. But over here, it definitely looks like it's rising a little bit nothing too drastic with the greens almost stationary let's go down here a little bit look down the actual uh, Helena nothing it's it's pretty stationary oh so it's gone up a little bit which that makes complete sense though when I pull up these insars it's 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 gone up by almost 50 so uh millimeters by the way so before i actually before i show these instars let me finish looking at these tilt monitors real quick i 
There's another camera angle. This is from sorry, this is from the lower east rift zone. Another cool picture. Hopefully the tilt monitor works out here. Yeah, it does. Nice. Oh wow. Okay, so this is. Yeah, it's not dropping too much because zero's right there. So it's a little. It's, it's dropped maybe a hair. Nothing too drastic or crazy. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna switch over now to the NSARS. Um, so this is the from June 13th to the 19th. I want to show you this one before I show you the updated one. Um, if you don't know how to read these charts, I'll tell you uh, tell you how to do it. The blue indicates how far away it is from the satellite. So either it's it's going down or it's moving to the east. Uh, if it's red, it's either moving towards, so it's going up or it's lifting, or it's moving to the west. So that's how you read it. So down here in Helena, there's about it's it moved up or it moved to the west by 50 millimeters. Um, down here by Kilauea, the same thing by 25 millimeters. I'm not sure what they call the I'm not I don't know this area by right off the top of my head, but that moved by about five millimeters. Mauna Loa is right here or right here. I mean, this is Mauna Loa. Um, around it and not much. We do have the uh, the outer is dropped by about neck. Um, by about 25 millimeters okay so we'll go down now so this is the most updated map they have out right now from the 16th to the 22nd let's compare it real quick so this it was it was going up or moving to the west by about 50 same thing it's moving up it's all this is still moving so it's quite a bit of movement going on right now uh, Mauna Loa still it, it looks okay I was kind of worried there may be an eruption there but the more I keep looking at it what I think it's gonna be okay there's not much if you look to see on the right this is also this is showing ground motion there's not much movement or anything on the actual summit or anything on the outside it does look like but you gotta understand these volcanoes move really easily they slide so this everything on here moves so it's pretty normal but no I don't see anything too crazy with uh, Mauna Loa, so that's really good. Okay, so before I get into Yellowstone, let's take this is the live feed from the USGS. I'll fast forward a little bit. Nothing, nothing too crazy. You just kind of get a better look of it. What's going on? And I'll leave a link so if you, you know, if you're bored, you can just go watch this. Okay, here we are at the Yellowstone Park, and. Um, we have had uh, a few earthquakes, nothing too crazy, and the most of I don't think we've had any earthquakes here today, but I will check the actual um, earthquake map. No, we haven't. Okay, so um, just like last time, we'll check out the cameras, and we'll also check out the um, the tilt monitors and the GPS coordinates if they have them, or not the coordinates, but that the positions. Yeah, they do. Okay. So here's zero. Um, nothing. No, nah, that one's not too bad. That one doesn't look like it's working. No, nothing too crazy on that one. This is Biscuit Basin. Oh. Nice little picture. When's this? Uh, yeah, this is updated. Oh, this is 2017 though, so that's an old picture. I didn't check these charts to make sure they're red. So this is from 2017. So that's unfortunate. Why are these? There, there's no activity going here. Why are these not updated? Hopefully, that's not like that on all of these. Yeah. Oh, it really is too. Wow. Okay. So these, that makes no sense. There's no. I mean, they could definitely go out there right now and get these machines going again. Okay. Here we go. So the ones outside the park, or at least the one I clicked on out here, is up to 2018. So that's good. What do we got here? Mm. I mean, it's nothing. Like I said, nothing too drastic. The ground is lifting, but that's normal. The, uh, the volcanoes breathe, so the ground's gonna lift, and it's gonna, def you know, that's that's common. You know, I'm looking for a real steady spike, and not only a, not only am I looking for a spike, I'm looking for earthquakes, and there's not much activity going here right now. I may have just caught it on a slow day, though. Okay, I don't want to spend too much time on this.
let's head on over to um we're gonna take them I, I found a video what i think you guys will enjoy there's actually two little clips i want to show you uh of the cascadia subduction zone so i'll let the man talk and here we go We've been making these measurements for about 20 years now, and this is giving us a much better picture of where the strain is building up in the crust. At Whalen Island near Pacific City, Rob McCaffrey has come to measure what our eyes can't see. What we have here is a, a GPS unit. Rob is tracking the movement of the Earth's crust day by day, year after year. He's tracking the strain building up beneath Oregon. It's the kind of thing that happens before every big quake. We have several hundred of these marks around Oregon and Washington, and looking at the relative motion between them, we can tell the, the strain that's building up towards the next earthquake. So for example, this site is moving almost a half an inch a year towards Portland. Portland's moving only a fraction of that amount. And so there's a squeezing between here and Portland, and that squeezing is like the loading of a spring Eventually, this whole area will, will spring back. Okay, so before I continue talking, I'm going to go ahead and show you the second part of the video that I wanted to show you. These were strong quakes, but the damage was focused like a bullseye around single epicenters. Rob says we're headed for something far more powerful. Its source, the Cascadia Subduction Zone. Cascadia is part of the Pacific Ring of Fire, home to the world's most active volcanoes and quakes. Since 2004, three major regions of the Pacific Ring of Fire have been hit by quakes greater than magnitude 8. A fourth region, the Cascadia Subduction Zone, runs more than 600 miles along the northwest coast. It's here where strain is building up as the Juan de Fuca plate struggles to push beneath the North American plate. When it releases, it will trigger a region-wide earthquake that will shake for up to five minutes, followed by a tsunami that will wreak havoc along the entire Northwest coast. Okay, so from what you have just seen, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pull up the live earthquake map, and that's something we should all keep in mind. And I think we all have, because there's been a ton of ton of just earthquakes and vol you know, volcanic activity going on. So I'm pretty sure most people are on high alert when it comes to this type of stuff now. But um, if it's not the Helena fault, it's or Yellowstone going off, we gotta worry about the Cascadia subduction zone. So this is a live map. I'm gonna pull up another map to show you the of where they've all been laid out for the past week so it'll kind of put into um, kind of give you a better perspective of where the pressure is building up and I I was gonna show this video if we could try to track the how much strains being built up but I'm not exactly sure how to do that so if you're you know if you can that guy told you basically how to do it um, so here's the other map I was gonna show you over the past week of, uh, of earthquakes we've had oh it froze a little bit but that's okay you can still see where it's at. So San Diego's down here, and it's down by the Sultan uh, Sea. This is right here. It goes all the way up. And we've had a ton of, we had, uh, if you watch Dutch Sense, there's a report of a volcano that was spewing out uh, some smoke, which I want to say was a couple days ago, but nothing since. So maybe it was a, I think it may have been a week ago, but regardless, um, still interesting to take a look into. Oh, we'll wait. Um, all the way up to Vancouver. Same thing, we have volcanoes. So I said the Cascadia subduction go zone goes all the way to, goes a little further up there, but all the way down to about right there. And it goes up a little higher. Um, and here's the past week of um, swarms of earthquakes we've had over here by Yellowstone. But just, I mean, it's just crazy what's going on right now, guys. We've, we're having, if you check the news or anything, there's constant floods. There's just, cr there's sinkholes opening up everywhere. Um, then especially the volcano activity though I mean that is just it's really hard to not you know not acknowledge what's going on um, you know I, I hope like I said this video is I just wanted to kind of kind of update you on things and maybe put other things into perspective hopefully these two videos or little clips I showed you might help you figure out other things and um, 
I don't know, that's all I'm really trying to do with these type of videos right now, raise some awareness. Now, when I do get some actual funds coming in, I'm going to upgrade my mic, get a decent mixer coming in. Um, I have I have a decent setup, and so that's about all I need now to really get, get the, um, the channel up and going how I like it. So, um, I really do appreciate you guys, though, very much. I hope, like I said, hopefully this video gave you some, may, hopefully you learned something from it, essentially, is all I'm trying to say. Um... But that's all I got for tonight, guys. I hope you have a great night.